There are always people who are up for new challenges. These people just have an itch all over their bodies. They have to invent something new. They have to learn something new. And they have to make each day of their lives into a thrilling adventure. It is these people who make our lives better and more exciting. A clockmaker, Ray Saunders from Vancouver, is a bright representative of one of these people. In 1974, the city of Vancouver made a decision to have a steam clock for the town. We are all well aware of steam locomotives, steam ships, steam presses, and other machines that use steam energy. As for a steam clock, it was a real challenge. With all the attractiveness of this idea, there was one essential problem. Nobody at that time had experience in similar work. Only John Inshaw, who built a steam clock for his tavern in Birmingham, UK, a little less than a hundred years ago. Looking for a solution, the city administration approached Ray Saunders. Ray Saunders enthusiastically accepted the challenge. He started his research activities and endless tries without delay. When all was done, after numerous failures and some lucky breaks, he got a veritable success as a reward for the stout work. In 1977, the first Raymond Saunders steam clock was built at the corner of Camby and Water Streets in Vancouver's Gastown neighborhood. At the beginning, the clock was really steam powered, but due to noise it produced and inaccuracy in time, in 1986, it was decided to switch to an electric motor. The original steam engine is still there, and you can see it through the glass walls of the clock. The good news is that the steam is still at business. It works whistling at the top of every hour and announcing quarter hours with the Westminster Quarters, a clock chime melody that's also used by London's Big Ben. Today, the Ray Saunders steam clock is one of the main hubs of interest in Vancouver, British Columbia. 